either of the two of you what is kind of the emotional state like knowing that this is the final opportunity to compete for a national championship for the two of you? Very excited. At least I'm excited. <laughs> um, I would assume the girls are excited. I mean, it's just so cool to know that we have such a big opportunity ahead of us and something that we can do. We can do something so special. And it's six matches, but it's one match at a time. And we, that's one of our big focuses. It's not about looking ahead to the finals or looking ahead to whatever game we're wanting to play. It's looking ahead to um, Howard right now. It's looking to make sure that we're prepared as, we, as prepared as we can be for Howard. Yeah, and I think it's interesting uh, compared to our freshman year when we were kind of in the same position. You uh, just you have no idea what's going on. Freshman year, you're just like, ha, I'm just going to go out and hit the ball. Like, you don't know what you're doing. But now, like, as seniors, having been through this program a little bit more, there's a level of maturity and there's an understanding that's outside of just being on the practice court. You're making sure you're getting plenty of sleep. You're making sure you're drinking tons of water. You're eating right. and Because all those little things, those little 1%, as Coach will sometimes call them, is what adds up. And that's really something that we've been focusing on, too. So we're excited and we're focusing everything that we have to getting to where we need to be. How much do you kind of take it upon yourself to share those little one percents with, you know, some of the younger mm -hmm. members on the team who maybe are going through this for, you know, not the first time but the second time? Yeah, um, I think, well, it's, we're kind of lucky because we have a very mature squad as is. We have a lot of seniors on the squad already, but for those people that are still younger, that's just something that we remind them every day at the end of the day, at the end of practice. We'll meet at the net. And it'll be, hey, make sure that you're drinking lots of water. Make sure that you're getting in and seeing Scott if you have an injury. Eat food, go to sleep. Like, it's just constant little reminders of little things. And it's not nagging. It's not like I'm texting people in the morning, like, make sure you eat your breakfast. Like, it's very low-key, but still, little reminders here and there. Uh, both of you seniors, captains, what's the message to the team now that you're entering NCAA tournament play? I mean, you got to go, you got to ball out. I mean, this is you got six. You have six matches to reach your final destination, your final goal, and it's just one of those things. It's, you got to leave everything on the floor every time, and you just knowing that every single person on the team has your back, coaches included. It's not, it's not a one-person game. It's a team sport, and it's, it's something that we all have to do together, and we all have to be aware that we all have each other's back, and that we all can do it if we believe in each other, if we believe in ourselves, if we follow the scouting report, if we do everything we can to be successful. Yeah, one match at a time. Coach has talked about how good the Big Ten's been all year. You got eight teams into the tournament. How much does that kind of prepare you for going up against the best teams from around the country? Uh, being in the Big Ten is awesome because there's always really strong teams and there's never really a game that you can take off. You always have to be preparing and have to be focused. So it's nice because we're always locked in. Like all season we're always locked in and you're always focused on taking it one match at a time just like you do for tournament time. Big Ten season's the exact same way. You have, let's say, the Michigans for a weekend. You have Michigan and Michigan State. You're focused on the first team that you play, and then you get through that night and you're focused on the second team you play. And it's just like that for tournament time. We have Howard coming up, we're focused on Howard. And then whoever comes up after that, we're focused on them. But it's just one at a time, and it's good because we always have to be giving 100% then in practice. So it's just like that for tournament time. How important was it for you guys to win a Big Ten championship? Speaking personally, it was unbelievably important mostly because we were the we were as a senior class hadn't won a big 10 championship yet so coach loved to just daily remind us that we do not yet have that we did not yet have a big 10 championship so personally as a goal i really wanted to be able to stop that little message that he kept giving to us so it was really important for us to win it just because it's a part of the program it's something that you do penn state works hard and they win the conference because that's the legacy that russ has built and it was about fulfilling that legacy and keeping that going. For me personally, I don't know what's my No, that's a show. That's <laughs> For either of you, how important is it to know that if you take care of business this weekend, you have another weekend at home where in years past you would have been going to a mm -hmm. predetermined regional site, possibly a team that was lower ranked but would have been hosting over you guys? Mm -hmm. I think it's massive. I mean, it's always exciting playing at home. Like, you guys can all attest to that. We can attest to that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's electric here in Rec Hall, and I think it's something that um, not a lot of teams experience and for us to be able to say that if we win these um, matches this weekend that we can continue to host that's huge.